Hey guys, I'm just gonna five here, and today we're back with another old base video, number 19 going on today. We got quite an interesting base to look at because unlike a lot of the other bases, this base is made up of a bunch of really small buildings, and you'll see more about that in a second. You can also kind of get an idea of what's going on here. You know, some turrets, some battle droids, some plants, all the fun stuff that we've got going on in this base. So hopefully I'll get into it in a second, but let's actually see what's going on here. So you can see some battle droids and a dwarf spider droid and General Grievous trying to attack this base. As you can see, there we are. That's what's happening. Yes, I'm aware of this now. <laughs> um, so there we go. You can also see some clones running out to attack them and defend the base. And there's also some grass and some more droids coming this way. Bunch of clones standing over there, but for some reason they're not doing anything. They probably should be doing something, but that's not what me in 2013 decided to do so they're all just going to march up and probably just join the fray in the front of the base but yep there's a droid gun in the back some super battle droids some battle droids and some commander battle droids as well so that's what's going on with all those and you'll see the droids still attacking because this is a base and it's not animation so these guys don't move at all they're just static and you can also see a tactical droid working on this sort of display piece or panel or whatnot some kind of device with a security droid you know, probably should have gone to a better location for that because he could just get shot immediately, but oh well. I guess that's not what happened here, so let's just continue to look at this base. You can see some Jedi jumping in and some clones on the roof as well. You've got Luminar and Dooley and Obi-Wan Kenobi jumping in. And you have Ayla Sakura coming in the front to meet up with General Grievous. You can see some plants as well and various other things around the base too, so that's good. Um, yeah, plant work is nice, so... Hopefully, we'll see some more plant work in some of these older bases in the future. Um, so there you can see the turret kind of shooting at some droids and kind of a better angle on that. So, yeah, this is, this, this is I'm not going to lie, this is a very long video. You probably are aware of this because you clicked on it, but I'm probably not going to say stuff during the entire video. So, yep, there we go. Just attacking. Not much else to say besides that. Maybe we'll get to some stuff. You can kind of see the door and some of the buildings. Um, but we'll get to the door probably in a minute or two. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe less, maybe more. We'll see. But, yep, clones on the roof. Some of them are attacking. Some of them are not. Some of them are just hanging around. Yep, so looks like we are about to go. Oh, no. There's Ayla Sakura. Um, yeah, this, this happens um, because people have never seen minifigures before. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, of course, this is completely an unnecessary part of this video, and the camera has been knocked over, but there we go. So, yep, enjoy looking at these figures in a very close angle. You can see a Sharpie custom there. There we go. Very beautiful. 11 out of 10 definitely did not revert back to a normal clone. Definitely not. So, that's that. Um, yeah. Well, we'll be here for a little bit. And there's also the Yellow Scout Trooper, which... Has also been reverted back to regular Scout Trooper. So, that's what's going on. I don't know, man. <laughs> this, is, this is a strange, strange video. So, yep. Guess hopefully we'll look at the door now. Because as you can see, the area in front of the door is cleared. You can see there's a little gun there. I guess for security reasons, because the giant turret on the top couldn't take care of it itself, apparently. But there we are. So, we are to open this door. And we'll hopefully get a decent idea of what's going on here. And it opens up just like that. It's just on a hinge. You know, it's very simple. You can see some clone action going on inside there. There's a dude with a helmet and some guys taking away some separatist leader there. Don't know necessarily what's up with that, but you can close the door back down. It just goes on its hinges. Definitely not an airtight seal or anything. Probably could have had a better door there, but too late now to go back and change that as it is pretty much six years later <laughs> since this was filmed so there we can see kind of stuff I've showed you already in this video um, there's the droids on the side again just kind of marching I guess we're just gonna look at them for a while as I do something I don't know what it is that I'm, I'm going to do but I'm gonna do something so we'll see we'll see what that something is in a minute probably I don't know let's just hang around and wait for these these droids to move or for me to move the camera probably so yeah lots of waiting around in this one apologies but this is how the video is this is how I'm gonna do the video so yeah I don't know what changed but I put the camera down so there's pretty much the same stuff as last time I don't know 
I don't I don't know what was going on with this. Um, so there's my minifigure drawer, not related to this mock in any way. Um, this is obviously expanded and changed since this video was filmed, but we're just going to hang out in here for a bit, I guess. You can see um, a shock trooper, you can see a Geonosian, you can see a rocket battle droid, you can probably see some other clones and various other things as well, but, you know, that's just what's going on here. This is pretty much just a bin where all the minifigures would just sit, and then I just plot the ones I would want to use, and that would be that, so... Yeah, they all just kind of sat in there. There we go. We're out now. So, now that that's cool. Um, I've rotated the base slightly. Hopefully, this will allow us to see the rest of it. But I am uh, uh, okay. All right. You know what? I I expected too much. So, I guess we're just gonna wait a bit more. Um. So, that's that. Hopefully you enjoy looking at R2-D2, the back of a Clone Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi, some of Yoda, looks like another Shock Troopers there in the back, Luke Skywalker possibly, um, Commando Battle Droid, Chewbacca, all kinds of crazy figures in here, maybe even an Anakin Skywalker there in the back. I don't know what's going on with this video, but there, here's the back of the base, um, as you can see, there's the back of the door, and yep, there's kind of some of the stuff we could see through before. So hopefully we get a better look at this. You can see those guys taking away that Separatist leader, as well as Saj Ventress in the back of the base for some reason, with a sh clone taking lightsabers. Don't ask me why. I don't know. So <laughs> we're just going to leave it at that. Um, and hopefully you can see the wall there that and the, my desk that we've been looking at for quite a long time now. As you can see, very integral to the mock at this point. Um, so, yeah. Very glad I just wasted like 10 seconds showing those. Um, so then I guess we'll go into some of the buildings here, I, I guess. Or not, we'll just look at this guy with handcuffs on. So, there we go. I guess they're directing him into that like shade thing, which I guess is some kind of prison cell. Don't ask me how or why, it just, it just is. And that's something I've come to accept with a lot of these videos, is that something just is. It doesn't necessarily have an explanation. You can see there is a crate there with a walkie-talkie in it. That's cool. There's some ladders to get up onto the roofs. And there's Ventress in the base for some reason with their Sharpie clone. So that is that. Um, not really a whole lot to say. I'm just so tired of this base. I'm yawning constantly. Oh, boy. So, you know, that's a good sign. So apologies, but, you know. And that's just how it is. There's the shade thing. Very innovative. M much wow. Cool. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. It, it just looks so dumb. Um, so, there we go. Glad I never uploaded this in its original form. Am I right? <laughs> so, there's that. I'm guessing it's a prison cell, but there's no way to tell. There's also those cords going to the gun. Um, ladder. Ladder goes to the roof of each side of the base with some clones on each one some of which are doing absolutely nothing and just looking at the droids and like wow we're gonna have to kill all those but not actually taking advantage of the time when they're kinda of vulnerable and killing all of them um, there's a 1x4 light gray brick I guess it might have been the only one left or something which is probably why I'm showing it but I don't know so yeah that is that has been the base so far I'm um, continuing on hopefully we'll get to Yep, you can see some stuff that we've already seen. The door, you know, all that fun sort of stuff there. There's something. I don't know what that thing does, but it's there. And, of course, on the other on the other roof, there are some clones as well, which we've already kind of looked at. But, you know, we're just trying to get through the video at this point. So, there we go. Um, not really the most interesting stuff to look at, but we're looking at it, so I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see about all that. Um, there's the battle droids in the back for some reason. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking when I filmed this video, but I don't know if it was good or not. But you know, based on the video, I'm leaning towards it not being good. So that's that's where we're at. Hopefully, we'll take a look at the insides of these rooms in a second. Um, there's the turret, which was pointed the wrong direction. Very entertaining. Wow, I, I'm impressed. I'm impressed that I I recognize that. Wow, this whoever made this must have been really good at making videos. Wow, so <laughs> there we are. It, it's shooting at stuff. You're just shooting in between all the stuff, but 
there's the old cannon from like probably the last old base and it just got replaced with this one which you know I think the other one looks slightly better but that's just my opinion so and you can see that there's a roof yes this exists um yep clones are shooting clones are doing clone things um, so that's what's going on here, I, I guess. Yeah, it just kind of seems like more of the same. I don't know what happened there, but it went black for a second. So, oh well, guess that's what we're dealing with. Oh, and then it went really bright. Okay, probably me screwing with the lighting settings on the, my old desk light. But as you can see, the roof does come off from this one. You can. Hopefully we'll be able to see what's going on in here. I think this one's the control room. So you can see there's a an astromech droid there. Oh, I guess not because we're just going to go look at something else. Again, very good at using time efficiently. So I guess, I guess we'll, 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 what will we look at now? Let's find out. Um, I'm guessing that's the door. Um, this is not a fancy sliding door or anything. It's just a door piece that comes out, I think, if I'm remembering this right. There we go. It's quality camera work on this video as you can as you can see um, yeah I just poke it from the back probably it just comes out and then there's a sliding door there so I guess it's kinda like a door stop or something to add some extra support to the door I don't know seems inconvenient for getting in and out but you know I, I guess it works you can slide the door half closed on one side closed and then open on one side so there we go that all closes up nicely like that as you can see um, and then there's some control panels right there there's some control panels which you know those don't look too terrible but it's probably one of the better looking things in this base and then there's the astromech droid and then am I gonna show you the astromech droid I hope not oh here we go so there it is there's the astromech hopefully you like it I don't but you might <laughs> um, so that's that is that I don't know what's going on in this video anymore honestly but we're just gonna keep on going and keep on seeing what's happening so that is that um, it's just made up of a bunch of different astromech pieces from different droids and different sets so yeah not really a whole lot to explain there and then there's a clone sitting down um, I, I guess not. There's more astromech pieces broken down in my minifig drawer. I don't know why I'm showing you this, but I am. So, there's a clone there working on some panels as well. He's just doing some work. That's good. It's good to be productive, which is what that clone is doing. So, good on him. At least he's not looking at battle droids and not shooting them like half the other people. So, you know, got to give some respect to that clone for actually doing his job. So, there we go. That that's That's where we're at right now. As you can see, very, very high level of, of productivity and work ethic here. So there's, there's the roof again of the other building, which if we go, we look in there, you can see a sliding door there, a track, and some crates. Nothing else in this building, just some crates and a sliding door. So, yeah, um, I don't really know what else I expected. I kind of remember this base once I started watching the video, but... Yeah, I don't know why they didn't make this the control room or something. Um, they could probably do it. Oh, boy, and here we go with the flashlight. So we can see everything get washed out, which is great. So there we go. See, You could see everything fine before, but I guess we just needed this extra flashlight action. So there we go. You can see some stuff better, most of the stuff worse. So that's that's the flashlight. Same same sort of well same sort of door style as the other one, sliding door with a sort of a door cover on it, and there's a panel poking through maybe for opening the doors. I don't know what it's for, but it's there, so that's cool, I guess. Um, so maybe I'll open the door in this one, and kind of I'm guessing I'm gonna probably try to poke the panel at the back or push it in. I mean that works that works too. I'm just breaking more stuff and completely covering half the camera screen so yeah um, fixing fixing the stuff up and then there's the sliding door which I'm sure nobody guessed that there would be a sliding door in this base definitely not a sliding door what what do you think this is what do you think this is an old base no no sliding doors except almost every base is a sliding door so I mean <laughs> 
I, I guess I guess I don't really know what I expected from this. I remember making this. I don't necessarily remember making this, but I remember having this base made. So I don't know. I, I guess I guess it's fine. Uh, but the point of this series is kind of to look back on how how my base building has progressed and kind of make fun of some of the worst ones. And I think this is definitely definitely one of the worst ones I've made. Um, I think even maybe the first base of the series probably was better than this one in some respects. But, you know, eh, you get what you get, so can't really complain all that much. You can see General Grievous again. Um, for some reason, I just drop the camera down and just leave it for a few seconds, and that's just kind of how this video got to be 17 minutes long. So, yeah, I don't really know, but that's that's kind of where we're at with this one. Um, so, yeah. I don't really know what else to talk about. Um, it seems like we just kind of have, like, a freeze frame sort of thing going on here, but evidently not. Um, okay, we're back, but that's, that's pretty much the base. Hopefully you like this base. Um, I have mixed opinions on this base at this point. Um, you know, I don't know. I like the two building thing, but not really a whole lot else about it so I guess that's kind of where I stand on this one let me know what you think of this base down in the comment section below you know and all that stuff um, probably the next one of these won't be 17 minutes long fingers crossed probably will be though knowing my luck so that's the old base thanks everybody for watching tuning in um, whatever you do if you liked this for some reason you can like it you know, if you liked a bunch of the videos on this channel, you can subscribe. I don't know. Do what you want. But, you know, that's kind of it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this very random old base video with some problems in it. Um, probably, probably more than a few problems, but I think that'll wrap up this video pretty much. So I'm just going to let the rest of the footage play out. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.